CZRA sa Elizal. Look at the past, it's time to win. A corporate thing. So, ang sinasabi ko na lang. Isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at nanonood sa RHTV. Lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kasamahang alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Una sa lahat, nais naming magpasalamat sa mga tumangkilik ng aming 21st season performance ng The Swan, The Fairy, and The Princess noong nakaraang October 14 to 16 sa Aliu Theater. Maraming salamat sa mga patuloy na sumusuporta sa amin sa Ballet Manila sa nakaraang dalawamput isang taon. At syempre, salamat din sa mga bagong audience namin na ngayon pa lamang nadidiskubre ang ballet. Marami pa po tayong mga espesyal na pagtatanghal sa mga darating na araw at sigurado kaming lalo kayong gaganahang manood. Abangan niyo po yan. Samantala, ang ating panauhin sa hapong ito ay ating naging guest conductor para sa The Swan, The Fairy, and The Princess last week. Maraming beses na rin uh, siyang nakatrabaho over the years Uh, kabilang na sa mga world premiere ng Romeo and Juliet noong uh, 2001 uh, sa Cultural Center of the Philippines at ang aming Swan Song series noong 2011 to 2013. After all those years, ngayon lang tayo nga nagkaroon ng pagkakataon makasama siya dito sa Art to Art. Kaya huwag kayo nga alis uh, sa aming pagbabalik kikilalanin natin ang aming paboritong guest conductor na si Maestro Alexander Vikulov. Si Alexander Vikulov ay isang orchestra conductor mula sa St. Petersburg, Russia, mula sa Rimsky-Korsakov School of Music ng Leningrad State Conservatory noong 1985, kung saan nagpakadalubhasa siya sa pagtugtog ng violin. Noong 1999, nagtapos siya ng pag-aaral bilang conductor sa Mozartium University of Music and Dramatic Arts sa Salzburg, Austria. Mula 1999 hanggang 2005, kumuha siya ng advanced postgraduate study sa ilalim ni Professor Yuri Simonov sa Moscow, St. Petersburg at Budapest. Mula 2001 hanggang 2004, naging permanent guest conductor siya ng St. Petersburg State Symphony Orchestra at noong taong 2005, ay naging conductor siya sa St. Petersburg State Orchestra Klasika. Samantala, nagsimula naman siyang maging regular conductor ng Marinsky Opera noong 2002 kung saan patuloy siyang kumukumpas. Bilang musical director, una niyang nakatrabaho ang Ballet Manila para sa ballet na Romeo and Juliet noong 2001 na sinunda naman ng Swan Song Series mula 2011 hanggang 2013. Bumalik din siya para sa katatapos na The Swan, The Fairy, and The Princess, kung saan siya ang naging guest conductor para sa Manila Symphony Orchestra. Naging musical director din siya ng unang stage version ng ballet na Le Corsair sa Seoul, South Korea noong 2005. Noong 2009, nakatrabaho niya ang Finnish National Opera na La Bayadier at ang Teatro Regio sa Turin, Italy para sa The Nutcracker. Isang mainit na pagbati ang hatid ng Art to Art sa respetadong international guest conductor na si Maestro Alexander Vikolov. Maestro Alexander Vikolov, Sasha, welcome to Art to Art. Thank you very much. Um, Sasha, uh, by the way, uh, to our listeners, um, kung mapaparuso kami pag paumanhin na ninyo, huwag kayong mag-alala Uh, itra-translate ko po dahil itong, itong uh, maestro sa harap ko ngayon ay matagal ko ng kaibigan. We've been friends for a long time now. Um, I think we've known each other for more than 30, 30 years. years. Yes. More than 30, 30 years. years. Um, but we started working professionally together um, I think in Romeo and Juliet. Yes, uh, in the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Yes. Uh, but 
of course, uh, I call you my Russian brother, yes, <laughs> or my white brother, um, because you're the, the son of my mentor and uh, who I consider my second mother, Tatiana Alexandrovna Udalienkova, and Sergei Vasilyevich Vikulov um, from Russia, all the way back. Um, I remember that you used to throw me inside the closet in your home. <laughs> uh, Inside of a board. Yes. In a, uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, <laughs> yes, uh, Sasha used to throw me inside the closet and lock me inside the closet as a joke in, <laughs> in their house. <laughs> so he is really my white brother. Um, what do you remember of those days? Can you share? Well, I remember uh, a lot, actually. Uh -huh. It was maybe, I, I wouldn't say the best time of my life, because the best time is uh, today, actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> Every time uh -huh. is. Uh, but uh, it was, uh, as I recollected today, I consider it uh, as a kind of miracle, rather, mm -hmm. than a real what were real adventures mm -hmm. of uh, my life. Uh, nevertheless, uh, mm -hmm. somehow I know that uh, it was all uh, real and it was happened to myself, yes, uh, not yes. to somebody else. Be because yes. at that time, I remember that you were um, studying and practicing to become a uh, violinist, a concert violinist. Is yeah. that correct? Uh, partly. Uh, mm -hmm. I was, as they said, I was a promising mm -hmm. violin player. Mm -hmm. And uh, the circumstance, uh, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, from the point of view of today, mm -hmm. uh, distracted me, uh, did distract me for a while from my first choice mm -hmm. uh, to get conductor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. And uh, now I not regret very much about my violent past, mm -hmm. because it helps me a lot in my immediate mm -hmm. work and communication mm -hmm. with yeah. Uh, with the orchestra, with the orchestras of very different That's kind. That's correct. That's yes. correct. Um, well, of course, all conductors have to know one, two, three instruments. Yes. Uh, mm, yes. No. I I don't know how many. Is that know, necessary? Indeed, uh -huh. uh, they have to know the mechanic mm. side, so to mm -hmm. say, of the functioning of the orchestra mm -hmm. uh, body, mm. uh, and. Uh, uh, most conductors uh, are uh, still uh, pianists mm -hmm. or violinists mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if uh, you have uh, experience not only to play yourself mm -hmm. solo, okay. but also to play uh, in an orchestra, mm -hmm. it was my case. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, of course, a very precious uh, mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. your future employment. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but um, Sasha, let's go back yes. even to when you were a child, mm -hmm. um, growing up in a very artistic uh, household. Both your parents uh, were ballet artists. In mm -hmm. fact, esteemed um, and respect, highly respected uh, mm -hmm. ballet uh, professionals mm -hmm. in uh, the Kirov Ballet. Mm -hmm. um, your father um, was given the highest award, the People's Artist of Russia. Um, of the Soviet Union. Of the Soviet Union, yes. yes it was time. higher. Even higher, Even yes. higher at that time, uh -huh. yes. And uh, your mom, um, uh, uh, again, an esteemed ballet, a professional in the Kirov Ballet, um, a teacher in the Russian Ballet Academy, and also given a title of uh, esteemed uh, ballet yes, artist, uh, yes? yes, special merited artist yes. of uh, the Soviet Union or of no, Russia? No, 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 of Russia, Russia. already. It was much, yes. much uh, so later. Was there any point in your childhood where you shared their dream of becoming a ballet dancer, a ballet artist? No, or you it, went into it, it music was, right it, away? I never had such kind of ideas. Mm -hmm. Maybe a special. Uh, Probably because my parents were both ballet dancers, and mm -hmm. it was also a decision of my father that I will never dance. Okay. <laughs> but uh, we uh -huh. took these de de decisions completely independent mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. each other. Okay. Yes. Uh, so better to say he took the decision. I uh, just had 
no idea of this kind. Uh -huh. But on the other hand, it's uh, no miracle that uh, the first time as I attended Marinsky performance, mm -hmm. at that time it was called Kirov, mm -hmm. yes, Kirov. Uh, Theater, Kirov performance. Uh, I was uh, four years old. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And only because uh, uh, that wasn't possible to take along into the performance a child uh, under this age. Mm, I see. Okay. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. And uh, this was um, either Sleeping Beauty uh -huh. or Nutnaka. And your father was dancing. Uh, both uh, your parents were almost, dancing at uh, the time. Uh, uh, this first performance, I think, no, mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, nevertheless, it was a very, very strong impression. And till today, I recollect some mm -hmm. kind of, mm, mm -hmm. so to say. So did that theater performance, yes. um, that visit to the theater at a very young age, did that begin your love story with music? With yes, actually, music? and with conducting. Oh, with conducting, because okay, I was pro uh -huh. I was sitting in the artistic box, mm -hmm. very close to the stage, mm -hmm. and uh, immediately mm -hmm. above the, mm -hmm. almost above the orchestra mm -hmm. pit, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was able to see everything what happened on the stage, mm -hmm. and also in the orchestra pit, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and of course the figure of the conductor, yeah, mm -hmm. and it was my strongest impression. Mm -hmm of uh, this very first visit mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. uh, professional uh, theatre production. Mm -hmm. okay. So at what age did you decide that you wanted to become a conductor? I decided it, it uh, immediately. At uh, four? Uh, yes. Oh, at four. okay. At four. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, there was uh, many things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which happened and uh, they did distract me from this Mm -hmm. First uh, choice. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. as uh, I was already o a little over 20, mm -hmm. I played in an orchestra, in a, in a chamber orchestra of very, very high level. Mm -hmm. uh, we were visiting the United States of America, and mm -hmm. uh, the artistic director of my orchestra, the Saulus Sandeskis, it was a prominent, really a great maestro. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, proposed me to change my profile finally. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> to change from being a violinist yes, to a yes, conductor. To, to, to go study yeah. uh, mm -hmm. conducting. Okay, about Seriously. studying. I mean, many Filipino artists dream of um, studying in a great artistic uh, capital in Europe, like um, mm -hmm. St. Petersburg. Uh, what was it like being a student in the arts in Russia and then later on in Salzburg? Yeah, it was very different in Russia and in Salzburg, but uh, it was both very interesting mm -hmm. and it wasn't easy at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, it wasn't easy. Why? Uh, because of very different reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't uh, retell everything, uh, so mm -hmm. to say, that I complete my experience yes. of the uh, uh, studying, yes, but um, uh, music, if you are take it seriously, mm -hmm. demands a very, very serious uh, approach and mm -hmm. uh, demands your personality, so to say, completely, mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, one has to refuse on many things. Mm -hmm. One has uh, sometimes to experience a very big tension of the mm -hmm. strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to work many hours, and uh, if many uh, hours in, in a day as a violinist, it's uh, a low mm -hmm. for most of violins, although mm -hmm. there are some lucky exceptions mm -hmm. that are very good known in the history. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but uh, it's a common law. And um, as for conducting, it's a very different um, and very difficult specialization, mm. uh, probably because it demands very many different knowledges united, mm. yes, mm -hmm. in frame yeah. uh, mm -hmm. of this single profession. Yeah. Yes. And yes. this is, we're talking <laughs> about conducting an orchestra. Yes. Now, if you add to that conducting an orchestra for a ballet performance, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it, it, the art becomes even more specialized. Of course. Yeah. Therefore, so what uh, kind uh, of special training does a uh, conductor for a ballet performance uh, needs? Okay, you uh, 
first uh, start to study it uh, in the mm, preparing uh, work mm -hmm. to a concrete performance, mm -hmm. not in the high school already, mm -hmm. in the theater, mm -hmm. in professional, so to say, uh, whereabouts. Mm -hmm. yes? mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it is uh, very well um, known that there are very only the very few number of mm -hmm. conductors in the mm -hmm. whole world mm -hmm. which are able to accompany ballet in the right order, so yes. to say. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. And uh, mm, uh, the most difficult part of this uh, specialization, mm -hmm. one could uh, say, or profession, mm -hmm. uh, is that you have to take care both about the comfortability of the dancers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and about the music mm. as such. Mm -hmm. And uh, to get these both things together mm -hmm. uh, is a very rare success mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And therefore uh, there were many really great conductors which uh, mm, conducted mostly opera mm -hmm. productions mm -hmm. or symphony productions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, the good, really outstanding Ballet conductors mm -hmm. are very few in the history. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very few known of mm -hmm. them. I uh, couldn't name. I can name only yes, Lansbury, for mm -hmm. instance, uh, Bonnage, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe a few other ones. Mm -hmm. Victor Fedotov. Victor Fedotov. <laughs> he was the very uh, conductor uh, who conducted in the first performance I saw. Ah. I, we will talk about. Oh. Oh, so Victor yeah. Fedotov was your yeah, uh, he, inspiration. He, yeah, mm. he, uh, mm -hmm. he did inspire me to mm -hmm. to try, so to say, my yeah. in uh -huh. this field. Uh -huh. So it's different even conducting for ballet dancers and conducting for opera singers. The technique is also <laughs> different, no, or uh, is it similar? Uh, it is similar uh, because in both cases it's about accompanying. Mm -hmm. Somehow, mm -hmm. accompanying singers, accompanying ballet dancers, and accompanying uh, players, mm -hmm. instrumental players. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, nevertheless, uh, uh, the specificity is so that uh, uh, the needs mm -hmm. of ballet artists mm -hmm. uh, are very changeable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. yes. And so you have uh, to know uh, how to adapt right away. Yes. yes. Uh, of course. Uh -huh. And uh, as for opera singers, for instance, the tempest are, are in principle uh, almost every time the same. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, for ballet artists, yeah, the uh, tempos the, uh, are yes, different. Can, can change <laughs> every five minutes yes. for uh -huh. uh, everyone uh, dancers, yeah. dancer, even uh -huh. a good one. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, between different yeah. dancers. Mm, mm -hmm. uh, there mm -hmm. are also uh, differences yes, yes. of uh -huh. very subtle yes. kind. And you're not which, just looking uh, at uh, one dancer, sometimes yes. you're looking at 32 yes. dancers dancing at the same time. So yes. that's uh, yes. also, in fact, even more difficult. You're yes. giving, you're setting the tempo for 32 dancers and not just one dancer. Of course. That's a, an amazingly difficult task. Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, I, I can say that I even uh, uh, know, and uh, from the first sources, so to say, mm -hmm. from very good conductors, mm -hmm. which are, are very successful yeah. as uh, mm -hmm. opera and uh, symphony conductors, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, that ballet is a very special field mm -hmm. where they are mm -hmm. not so sure. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, so we're very so lucky modest. in Ballet Manila that you have had extensive experience conducting an orchestra for the ballet. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang international guest conductor at musical director na si Maestro Alexander Vikulov. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. 
Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa musika, iniyahandog ng Cultural Center of the Philippines sa pakikipagtulungan ng Clarion Chamber Orchestra ang Schubert's Winter Vise. Sa October 28, alas 8 ng gabi sa tanghalang Aurelio Tolentino ng CCP. Tampok ang baritone na si Park Byung In sa kanyang Philippine debut solo recital kasama ang pianistang si Nabish Ismail. Para sa ticket, tumawag sa Ticket World 8919999 or sa CCP Box Office 8323704. Sa Sining Biswal, bilang pagdiriwang ng Museums and Galleries Month, iniyahandog ng Museum at De La Salle University ang free entrance hanggang October 31 sa kasalukuyan nitong itinatanghal na exhibit na pinamagatang Agos, Conversations in Waterscapes by Filipino Artists. Tampok ang mga obra ni na Fernando Amorsolo, Botong Francisco, H.R. Ocampo, Juvenal Sanso, Anita Magsaysay Ho, Philip Badon, Dom Briones, Henry Kainglet, Wilfredo Calderon, Salvador Convocar, Amado Hidalgo, Gallery Joaquin, Rafael Calao, Pancho Piano, Jojo Ramirez, Yani Rumbawa, Eman Santos, Franklin Cana Valencia at Jojoy Buwan Zabala. Patuloy na makikita ang Agos hanggang December 9. Ang museum ay matatagpuan sa De La Salle University, Manila, number 2401 Taft Avenue, Malate. Iniyahandog naman ng Sining Kamalig Art Gallery ang group exhibition na pinamagatang Ebarotica. Nagbukas noong October 15, makikita ito hanggang November 23. Ang tema ng exhibit ay mga kwento ni Eba matapos siyang paalisin sa paraiso. Tampok ang mga obra ng mga kasibulan artists na sina Yasmin Almonte, Lot Arboleda, Chi Cruz, Cecil De Leon Escobar, Imelda Cahipe Endaya, Ana Fair, Lorna Fernandez, Christine Garanchon, Lorna Israel, Amihan Humalon, Nina Libatique, Eden Ocampo, Jonabel Operio, Fel Plata, Rebi Ramoso, Benay Reyes, Torres Rodriguez, Christine Sioko at Lia Toralba na sharing curator ng exhibit. Ang gallery ay matatagpuan sa upper ground floor ng Ali Mall, Araneta Center, Cubao, Quezon City. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin natin ang aming uh, matagal ng kaibigan at ngayon ay guest conductor na si Maestro Alexander Viculo or Sasha. Sasha, um, you've been to the Philippines many times before. Um, if I remember correctly, the first time was in the year 2000. Um, when you conducted the Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra mm -hmm. in the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Uh, it was uh, the Russian composer's uh, ballet score of uh, uh, Sergei Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet um, for the uh, choreography of the world premiere of your father's version of Romeo and Juliet on the company Ballet Manila with me dancing as Juliet. So. Um, From there on, you went on to conduct the Manila Symphony Orchestra on many occasions. So, uh, my question is, what are your most unforgettable memories of your visits to the Philippines? It was a quite unforgettable uh, memory uh, in general. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, of course, uh, because of uh, very many uh, different reasons. Uh, for instance, it was... Uh, my first uh, independent and big, really large production mm -hmm. for the musical theater. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, in addition, uh, not in my own country. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, uh, Philippines were very exotic, mm -hmm. uh, exotic country for yeah. myself. Uh -huh. And uh, were you uh, scared? that uh, you would not be able to relate to the musicians because we were Filipinos? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, probably this was the lightest aspect mm -hmm. of our collaboration and of my experience mm -hmm. of uh, those days. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of course, uh, I was very impressed by the quality of Ballet Manila, mm -hmm. uh, by the um, kind of professional Um, sensibility of mm. the orchestra mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, the same I can say 
about MSO, for mm -hmm, instance. Mm -hmm. The Manila Symphony Orchestra. You yes. conducted the Manila Symphony Orchestra um, for the first time in uh, the Lisa Makuha Swan Song series, correct? 2011, yes. mm -hmm. uh, 2012, 2013. Um, the full-length ballets, Giselle, Don Quixote, The Nutcracker, La Bayadere, uh, Stoichok. So this four, uh, I think. Yeah. Um, Le Corsair. Le Corsair, Le Corsair. Well. yes. 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 Um, so, so, so many productions. Yes, a lot of productions. <laughs> um, um, so, uh, uh, what can you say about um, the Filipino musicians in general that you've worked with? Uh, the same as I just said, uh, they're very sensible. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, they have, uh, as orchestra musicians, first mm -hmm. of all, a very good quality to uh, follow the intentions mm -hmm. uh, of the conductor. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, in uh, the orchestra business, it's very important not only to be able to play good enough. Uh, his or her own instrument, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but also to build a kind of community, mm -hmm. yes, uh, which would be able to <coughs> receive mm -hmm. signals from the side of the yes, conductor and right. give a proper answer mm -hmm, on the signals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, I estimate very high the quality uh, of uh, both mm -hmm. PPO and MSO. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Sometimes, as I came somewhere else after mm -hmm. uh, my experience uh, on the Philippines, uh, I had more problems probably in this mm -hmm. uh, field. Okay. Uh, maybe it wasn't so notable for, uh, noticeable from the side, mm -hmm. but I felt it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in general, I can say that as a conductor, I feel very comfortable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the work uh, mm -hmm. with the uh, Filipino orchestras. Okay. Uh -huh. And also, in addition, I can say that uh, recently, for instance, we uh, ha uh, had a very uh, successful performance of uh, Stravinsky's Pulcinella. Yes, in a very non-traditional venue yes. for um, orchestra music. It was yes. a black box theater, I understand, yeah? Uh, yeah. In uh, Spotlight, uh, Power Max Center. Um, so what was that like, with the audience so close and very It's intimate? okay. It's yeah. no difficulty at all mm -hmm. for myself. Uh, the only thing is necessary in such a situation that the program mm -hmm. uh, has to fit mm -hmm. to these conditions. Mm -hmm. yes? mm -hmm. uh, there uh, has to be a kind of dispatcher between mm -hmm. the space and mm -hmm. uh, the music performed. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I wanted to say, uh, the uh, soloists which mm -hmm. were in collaboration with us this mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. Filipino singers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, made the best impression of myself and uh, both in the professional mm. approach mm -hmm. and uh, the quality of uh, voices mm. themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I would like very much to repeat our mm -hmm. creative contacts yeah. with mm -hmm. this uh, artist. Of course. Um, uh, you've had experience conducting many orchestras all over the world. Um, what do you think are the musical production trends nowadays in the capitals of the world? And um, is the music scene being as affected by the YouTube generation and the uh, internet, you know, the, the quality of uh, recordings and performances, live performances now being readily available uh, on YouTube and, the, and free entertainment, let's say, um, on, on the internet? Um, is the music scene, the international music scene, facing the same kind of uh, difficult situation and competition with the internet entertainment scene? I think so, rather yeah. so. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not um, sure that I would be very fond of this mm. situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, because uh, every kind of movement uh, into uh, direction of industry mm -hmm. or sport mm -hmm. in our business is uh, rather damaging, mm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So the technical level 
remains very high mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a rule, mm -hmm. but the individuality mm -hmm. uh, is getting lost. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, the uh, biggest and uh, saddest uh, problem of the musical, classical music business mm -hmm. uh, of our days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So, so therefore, uh, if you have uh, the like possibility to um, create a kind of a group of uh, artists which are able and are willingly to think and feel mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. uh, you are, so to say, in the best situation possible. Mm. Uh, in such a kind, it was every time, mm -hmm. but especially precious, it's nowadays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, the mo one of the most common problems um, that many producers mm -hmm. um, of live theater experience, and you know, in your case, live um, a live musical experience. Uh, face is how to create new audiences, how to invite these millennials, you know, uh, that are so used to relating to a computer screen or a tablet in front of them um, for, for live performances of music, dance, drama, theater. How can we attract uh, the younger audiences to watch or listen to music or watch the ballet and listen to uh, the music of the ballet? I would say that uh, for ballet and opera productions, uh, nevertheless, easier. Mm. I would say much easier there than for some kind of symphony mm -hmm. projects. Okay. Uh -huh. Nowadays, because the living experience, mm. uh, this, so to say, being in touch immediately mm -hmm. uh, with the artist, with the uh, living atmosphere of the theater. Mm. Can be can be replaced mm. by something, mm -hmm. and therefore it guarantees you that uh, you won't lose your uh, listener, mm. your uh, public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never, mm -hmm. I am quite sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, there are some attempts to uh, attract the attention of younger uh, auditorium, not only of. Uh, younger people mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. by uh, doing some eccentric uh, things uh, mm -hmm. by strange, uh, strange. Uh -huh. but uh, I'm not sure that uh, such kind of solutions would be long living uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes okay. it uh, would rather uh, get, get boring yeah. in a very mm -hmm. short uh, mm -hmm. time distance mm -hmm. So, uh, just to try to do the same, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, new technical possibilities bring us some mm -hmm. new uh, chances mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this field as well. Uh, but, uh, first of all, uh, we uh, have to do about our quality, mm -hmm. about the um, necessary to preserve the atmosphere of the theater mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. for coming generations. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think that uh, it would be the cue of our success. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, and judging by the um, highly uh, uh, the high praise that we always hear about you, um, your performances with the Manila Symphony Orchestra, coming from the musicians and from the leadership behind the orchestra, um, we expect you to uh, come and visit us again and again and um, uh, play for us again and again, helping it would be the develop. For the myself. Filipino audiences for live music. So, thank you, thank you very much, thank Maestro, you. for being our guest here in Art to Art uh, this Sunday. And uh, what's next? Um, you, you're leaving us soon for St. Petersburg. Um, what's next in your agenda? Uh, yes, I have some projects in St. Petersburg, first mm -hmm. of all. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I will go to Austria. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will have a kind of um, negotiations uh, on which I lay very uh, serious importance, mm -hmm. so to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, it will be St. Petersburg. My, I continue my work, uh, my collaboration with Marinsky Theatre. Mm -hmm. I will uh, have um, interesting productions with soloists, mm -hmm. uh, singers of mm -hmm. Marinsky Theatre in mm -hmm. different uh, concert halls mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. city. Okay. And uh -huh. so. Okay. 
And we're, of course, looking forward to your next visit. Thank you very much again, Maestro. Thank you. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art, kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipinas.